72 kilogram category and it's between Christine Sico of France here on the right against Ninomiya, Miho Ninomiya of Japan. Ninomiya's first time out in these uh, major international competitions and the stockier girl, the shorter of the two on the right there, attacking there on the left against Christine Sico of France who was third in the uh, in her category in the Atlanta Olympics and there Japanese girl Miho Ninomiya slightly left side on stocky powerful looking for the left-sided attack Tayatoshi and Ninomiya gets the passivity warning as does Christine 30 seconds into the match and nothing much to choose between the two of them just two passivity scores and there's a left-sided uh, Ochigari attack and it's a score the corner judge gives it as in and that puts Ninami ahead of Seiko French coach there encouraging her on the throwing action started inside the mat as long as it starts inside the mat it's allowed to continue outside the mat. So now, Ninomiya. There's another, there's the uh, left-sided tie. Toshi can't quite turn Siko over. And Siko looking for uh, groundwork opportunities there, but not being too positive about it. So stands up. Christine here, she placed uh, second in the 95 European Championships, uh, third in the Olympic Games, 96, second in the European Championships in 94, and problem there with a t-shirt, got ripped off, and gentleman there from the crowd offering his, but um, has to be seen where she'll change the t-shirt, so she'll have to be accompanied off the mat. And let's watch that uh, Ouchigari by Ninomiya from above. Nice view there. There's that left leg driving in, driving in. And there, it, there she goes off the mat. She's, as a thrower, she stays on the mat. Siko drops there. And that gives Ninomiya a solid score. There's the left leg going in. There's that hard driving push there, trying to get uh, Christine off balance. And there she goes down right at the edge. And a good score there for Ninomiya. So, T-shirt's been changed, and the scoreboards have uh, gone on the blink there, so we'll have to, uh, we know Ninomiya's ahead at this time, timing's gone, and also the scoring. So the table judges will have to use manual scoring systems as they go along, which means the judge, the referee, will have to look at the top table and keep ahead of the scoring. So Seiko now, behind at this point, comes across for a left Dosoto, uh, Ninomiya weathers that easily, no problem at all. Japanese girl looking comfortably ahead. Very stocky, hardly being moved by the attacks. There's another left attack and almost comes across for another Tayatoshi there, but uh, Siko manages to get off it. One minute to go. And uh, Ninomiya well ahead at this point with either a five-point or a seven-point score. And there's a Nippon there by Christine. Ninomiya came across carelessly, threw her leg across, and, and then she just got dumped backwards with a sort of Kosodogari Taniyatoshi-type action. And that's the first gold medal for France. Christine Siko of France takes the gold, flattening Ninomiya with a no-nonsense counter-throw, straight to the ground, flat on her back, and hard. And there she takes the, uh, the referee's uh, signal of the win. And a very neat win there by, against Ninomiya, who almost looked as though she threw it away. She came across a bit too carelessly, I think. And Siko saw her chance, just pulled her backwards and fell on her. And there's the, there's the difference. Instead of the male coach lifting up the uh, female player, it's the female player that lifts up the male coach. So, big uh, Christine. Now, let's watch that again. Siko there jumps over the top, there's a left-sided Tayatoshi, but then there she just gets pulled back, dragged down and backwards. Watch it from another angle. The Japanese girl throws the left leg across, loses her balance, and down she goes.